Gary Bean you up in the most random spots. <laughs> Can't find much items to help you with that run. Grinding spots ridiculous to find. Don't worry, man. I got you. We both are probably in the same pickle if you're watching this video. I haven't tried many Nuzlocks. I'm pretty fresh in it myself. But now I have a terrifying addiction to them. Please help me. I would like to help you. Yes, you. Out at the same time. Now don't panic. I'm not going to be telling you how you should play your Nuzlocke. That's the beauty of it. I'm just Big Papa Senna, giving some boomer tips and tricks. Some of these you can still use for randomizers, unless you got a trainer with a legendary one to hunt you down, then that's all on you. Please, don't bring that to me. I have a family. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> So long story short, you ain't gonna be getting a lot of items, at least not early game. Let me show you what's important though. First one in everyone's mind is the EXP share. Obviously, everyone wants that good share. It's like we're in the stocks or something. The problem is, is you need 50 Pokemon caught in your Pokedex. Yes, caught, in order to get it in Route 15 from Oak's assistant in the gatehouse. That's roughly 17 encounters with all having three evolutions. So you might get it, you might not. So keep that in mind. Of course, those one to increase their money will have just as much of a grind needing 40 cop Pokemon. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier. You can find it on Route 16 in the gatehouse though from Oak's assistant. And painfully, so is the item finder. Needing 30 cop Pokemon to get it. At least this one is more possible mid-game. It can be found at Route 12's gatehouse from Oak's assistant. But here are some pretty good items you can get real quick. You can get two leftovers on Route 12 and 16 after finding the Snorlax with the item finder. Should be in the same spot they were sitting in. Easy peasy. If you have any Pokemon that needs happiness to evolve, like Espeon and Umbreon, you can get the Sooth Bell with the item finder at the very top of the Pokemon Tower. You can get the Old Rod and Versus Seeker from Vermilion City. You'll definitely need the Versus Seeker, which is from the lady in the Pokemon Center. This is your win condition. If it was a Yu-Gi-Oh card, it would for sure be banned. It's your pot of greed for money and EXP. Don't forget that. The other rods are great too. The good one can be found in Fusha City, and the super can be found in Route 12. The higher the rod, the bigger the catch. Pretty nice. Nah. In the later games, you don't have to worry about having an HM slave since you can call Pokemon to your aid to help you out. Unfortunately, this isn't the case in this game. Hope you're ready to waste a whole slot just to get around the game. I'm joking. Honestly, I think it's better to split up the HMs between your Pokemon instead of put all the weight on one. There isn't even really a lot of HM slaves in Fire Red, if you can even get the encounter for them. The only HMs you really need for your run are Cut, Fly, Flash, Strength, and Surf. Cut is given by the Captain in SS Annie. Fly is not a need, but you're gonna want it. Less pain. It's on Route 16's other house, given by a little girl. Flash is also not a need. You'll only need it for Rock Tunnel, but it keeps you from being ever lost in the whole labyrinth of hell. It's on Route 2 with 10 Pokemon caught required to get it from Oak's assistant. Strength is found at Fuchsia City by the Warden. You'll need to find his now grass-covered golden teeth in the safari to get it. He didn't even wash it. Just right in his mouth. Someone could have pooped. Surf <laughs> can be found in the safari zone. It's a weird place, so looking up a map is pretty nice since you got limited steps. Remember that Versus Seeker that we mentioned? This is where it all comes into play. For low levels, you want Nugget Bridge. Easy trainers, easy money, easy life. Train money life. You sound like a Karen right now. For mid levels, you got Route 16. These biker dudes are all lined up for you to beat their ass. Just be careful because they got mons that could explode. The final leveling spot is a favorite. Island 1, baby. Go past this water here and you'll be fighting all of these trainers of fighting types. When you got some damage on you though, just head on down to send a spa and comfort and heal up them Pokemon. Prices are $4.99 a minute. No refunds. Don't fight Gary too early on Route 22. I know it's exciting. You're exploring your first couple minutes of the Nuzlocke, but Gary's smelly ass is there waiting to ruin it with a level 9 Pokemon. So make sure you're prepared for that situation. Always. And I mean always, no matter what. Carry antidotes. Unlike the newer Pokemon games, your Pokemon can die from poisoning. Yes, it will literally faint even out of battle from poison. And that's a death run. Always research Gym Leader in Elite Four fights. You never know what they got, and what they got might just end your run. Knowledge is power. In Mount Moon, you'll get a fossil of your choice, which later on you can revive it in Cinnabar Island. But you can also get an old amber back in Pewter City, which gives you an Aerodactyl. It's in the Pewter Museum, you'll need Cut to get it. 
in Celadon City, if you go behind the mansion, apartment, where the old lady gives the tea, you can actually get a free Eevee from the person on the top. Great for balancing your team. There's a free Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee in the Saffron City Dojo after beating up all the fighters in there, like Bruce Lee. Be very careful with the Silph Co. Gary. All his Pokemon except one are fully evolved already and are 35 plus. I'm sure a lot of people can say Silph Co. Gary sucks. On the other hand, after beating him, you can get a free Lapras as a cool little reward. I'd recommend grinding your Mons to 55 to 60 for the E4 and make sure you farm enough money to buy all the items you need to get that final push. Before that E4 though, I see you have a Master Ball in that inventory. Go ahead and use that to catch one of the legendary birds of your choice. You gotta use everything you have, right? In the Pokemon Center right outside of Mount Moon, there's a man in the back who will sell you a Magikarp. Not so much of a scam in this case. Nah, it still is. And lastly, the Casino. The Casino has a good amount of TMs that are really helpful, such as Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. You can also get a Dratini if you really want, depending on the rules you set up. And that's all I got for you to help you run. I wish there was more I knew, as I am pretty new at Nuzlocking as well. But I believe you can do it with all this knowledge. If I can do it, you can do it twice as better. Good luck friends, and thanks for watching.